Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 3rd through the 9th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So maybe there's a situation here that is coming to a balance. Uh, but it, I don't know why, but now I'm getting that there's closure. That's what's creating the balance. You could be in a third party situation. It's coming through very clearly or very directly, I should say. So take what resonates, leave the rest. It kind of feels like this is going to be a very specific message already. We have the Hierophant, which is Taurus, the Three of Swords, the Emperor, which is Aries, and the Seven of Pentacles. So maybe you've been in a situation in the recent past where there's been two people. Maybe you're kind of stuck between two different decisions. So doesn't have to be about relationships maybe it's two different opportunities right one that feels like it's really good for the long term and then one that feels like a really good opportunity for right now the present moment right two very different elements or factors or personalities you could be caught between these two and thinking i don't know what the right decision is i'm torn maybe with the seven of pentacles there's been um, a lot of thinking about this, trying to analyze it from different perspectives, trying to visualize what those scenarios could possibly look like, and at the end still feeling like you don't know which one is the right one. So I feel like right now there's a little bit of confusion, a little bit of doubt, uncertainty, but for the most part it feels like you're getting close to figuring it out, figuring out exactly what it is that you want. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, this is confirmation that that balance is going to come very soon. So maybe this week you're putting some sort of conclusion to all of these different thoughts. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the Three of Swords. All right, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, so it kind of feels like right now you could be currently trying to just disconnect, take a breather, and not think about this situation, right? Almost like you have to do the opposite of what you've been doing right which is overthinking so that you can maybe get some clarity because sometimes when we're too focused on something or when we think too much about it we lose sight of everything and we get lost and then you know there's no there's no way to really understand what's going on inside ourselves so i feel like right now you could be trying to disconnect try to not even think about it maybe you're distracting yourself with something positive something healthy we have the Hanged Man, which is Pisces, the Sun, which is Leo, and the King of Swords. So maybe for you right now, the most important thing is to go to your happy place in order to find that clarity that you're looking for. If anything, this kind of feels like the advice that the universe is giving you. It's kind of saying, okay, Pisces, right now you feel stuck. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to choose. Go to your happy place. What does that look like? Where is that? Go there. Try to just center yourself and then figure things out. Because I feel like with the King of Swords, something about your current environment could be stopping you from seeing this situation clearly. Like maybe right now you're in a place where you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel safe, or there's just too much going on. Maybe you're overwhelmed and that's really why you feel stuck. So it's not that you're capable of making some sort of decision with relation to this situation. It's just that maybe you're, you're not feeling good mentally, physically, emotionally in order to even think through it. So yeah, it kind of feels like the universe is saying, Pisces, just go to your happy place because that is where you will find the solution. That is where you will find the clarity. Right behind the Four of Swords is the Ten of Pentacles. So there's something about you actually finding exactly what you need, but it depends on where you're at. All right, let's clarify the Hierophant. Five of Pentacles, yeah. There also seems to be a genuine fear of making the wrong choice because you don't want to disappoint someone. Maybe you don't want to disappoint yourself, right? So part of you kind of hesitating is coming from this fear, right? The sense of, I just don't want to make the wrong decision. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this Two of Pentacles confirms you're trying to make some sort of choice here. Um, Nine of Swords, there's that feeling of uncertainty, anxiety, worry. Maybe you're losing sleep over this. Maybe you're having nightmares. I feel like with the Knight of Swords, part of you wants to vocalize what you're feeling to somebody specific. But at the same time, you don't want that truth to be what brings you and someone apart from each other, right? Sometimes we have those moments where we just say, man, I wish I could just be honest about this. But at the same time, I know that if I say what I really feel, that might cause this rift. So I feel like right now you're trying to be very objective 
about the situation, Pisces. You're really focused on making the right decision in the right way. And I feel like right now the universe is saying, what if that doesn't exist? What if there is no right way to do anything at this moment? And what if you just have to try something, right? What if this is one of those situations where it doesn't matter if you are in the perfect place at the perfect time, maybe the other person will receive it the same no matter what. So that's an alternative scenario, right? That's another way of seeing it. What if you think you have the perfect plan and the other person, whoever's on the other side, will see it the same way? How does that make you feel differently about what you're thinking and how you're thinking, right? Kind of like maybe there's no point to stressing about this because it's going to be the same for them no matter what. Let's clarify the emperor. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this could be about you either deciding between a job or a person. Because I feel like there's multiple options, multiple possibilities here for you. And I think that right now you are being led to a specific one. So whatever the Emperor is representing here for you, I feel like this is the one you really want. But then the other one kind of holds more... Um, like something about you feeling more connected to that on a conscience level is standing out. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers, which is Gemini, and the Temperance, which is Sagittarius. So kind of feels like for you, this is about recognizing which one makes you feel the most, um, you know, it's like one resonates more. You know, it's like the Lovers, that's a pretty strong energy. And with the Temperance, it's almost like you're saying maybe in the long run, this could actually be the one that I prefer. You know, with that Three of Pentacles, you see some potential here. You're saying, yeah, this could work. Right, so part of you has already made your decision, but at the same time, for some reason, you're still factoring the other options, right? You're still factoring them in, which means that part of you is connected to the other one for a different reason. So maybe this week you are bringing some sense into that. Maybe this is when you really realize why it is exactly that you are stuck between the two. Maybe it's not that you don't know which one you want. There's something else going on here. So I feel like this week is going to be huge for you in terms of clarity. Um, but really hope that this was helpful. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.